I mean, it's so beautiful. You look at the sea, and you just don't realize, do you, the cost of the environment. I mean, look at it. It's lovely. It's, it's, it's one of the most lovely cities in the world. It's San Francisco. San Francisco, California. But the carbon emissions that it took to create this are changing the climate, ain't it? So what are we going to do about it? I don't know. I, I, I got to drive a car to work, don't you? Or I got to take the bus. So the question becomes, if this is what we want, if we want a technological world, if we want to live in cities, we've got to learn how to do it in cooperation with the animals, ain't it? In other words, we got to learn to conserve, not to take so much, maybe reuse stuff. I don't know, it's a hard one, but the climate change is coming, ain't it? So this part of the city may be underwater in 100 years, I don't know. I'm over here on, uh, well, I'm on Post in uh, Powell Street, I think, something like that. So that becomes a question. Will the human species be able to survive this upcoming climate change? The next 100 years will certainly be the test, won't it? Well. My opinion is that possibly we will find solutions, but it'll be extremely difficult for many people, especially the poor people, of course, they're always the ones that are affected the most, aren't they? Yes, well, actually they are. Well, uh, let me tell you, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to give you this theory that I have about this situation. Now, here we are. Now, we're sitting us down right here, all right? It's a likely place, ain't it? Of course, it's gonna fall over any second. All right, so. So the situation is obviously, we've got ourselves in a fix. We've used up most of our oil. Now we're using solar, but we've already created a CO2 overburden, so we're changing the climate. We've watched a movie called Chasing Ice. We've uh, seen the movie uh, for instance, you know, Atomic Cafe. We understand the problems of nuclear waste issues, chemical weapons waste issues. And yet you look around and you say, well, what does that have to do with me? Good question, eh? Well, what it has to do with me is that this is not me, it's my kids and my grandkids, ain't it? So this is a message to all of you out there that are working on this problem. All I can say is thank you because this is a big one. This is a real problem. It'd be nice to survive as a species. It's nice to be able to live on the planet Earth, share this with the animals, somehow have an arrangement where we can all live together in peace. No weapons of mass destruction, no nuclear bombs. Shy, come on. Is it possible? Ask yourself. I think it is. I really do.